Welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a detailed look putting together the shins. So again, oh, this, this bad boy has been trimmed out. Went to town on this one, didn't we? So let's offer this up, see what we've got. running the full length. I've not got a clip spare, so I'm just going to have to wing it a little bit. Oh. Oh. There's some big fat ones, aren't they? Okay, so I've got this as neat as I can. So it's running right across the top. That is lovely. And I'm going to offer my cover strip up to there. Then we've got these, these side pieces here with the cover strip running down there. And then obviously it's coming a little bit bigger here and here. That's fine. We want that. So without any further ado, let's just get straight into it. I mean, you can make this into a big job or you can just uh, crack on. Obviously, my glue's on. We need to get the magnets on so it's setting. Okay, so that's in place. It's just stuck down nice and tidily. Our cover strip on the front. I'm going to do this as the right, so the cover strip on the back goes to the outer piece so it's overlapping. Like thus. Remember, this was the 25 millimeter one. And you usually have about five mil of this, approximately, attached to the shin. So you don't need to do it evenly. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can see that. That's how much cover strip I've got. That's about how much I'm going to affix to the to the outer of the shin. You can see at the bottom, top and bottom, about the same. So what I'll do is, this isn't how I usually do them, but this is what I'll do. So you get an understanding of what I'm doing. I'm 
I put the cover strip in place just about where I want it to go. Now it's probably, if anything, it's a little longer than, than you think it should be, but that's because I'm gonna push it, push it up shortly. So. So this is the area, so I've come, a, come over here because there's more, there's a lot more of it, a lot more cover strip than I need there, so bending it round a bit. So this is the area that's going to get bonded to the rear closing strip. So rather than attach the glue on the strip, I will put it on here. Now remember what I said about that super glue issue where you get sort of that, uh, excess tailing off. So what I'm going to do is when I come down to the bottom here, I'm going to bring it inside so that if any of that does happen, we don't care now. The moment has passed. So let's get this one on. Like so. That one needs to be about there. As I place that in there, I've also pushed it up. So it's filling that curved area. If I'd had another clip, I would have stuck it on there now. But this will suffice. So again, just to say, it's repeating the same process over. I'm just making sure it's nice and flat with the armor. You don't want any big gaps. You don't want, any, you don't want it not touching. And that is gonna be enough to to cover that closure. These can come off now, we've gone. We've set nice and secure. No messing about. And um, that will be all, the, all of the cover strips completed on the limbs. A um, little bit of fettling that we're gonna, that we're gonna do that I'm gonna show you, a bit of trimming here and there still the last little bits remaining but then oh and adding the elastics and then we're done on the limbs then we will be on the torso adventure putting the metal strappings in getting all the elastics together and um we're, we're really getting there i would say we are probably beyond the halfway point until next time when things are going to get torso-y. <laughs>
thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.